Welcome Blade Banter, talk about specs, opinions, and discussions. I was considering doing this live, but for the possibility of blood and carnage, I decided not to just in case I cut myself. And I actually didn't notice this before, but the place I got the spring from, that's not a sticker. That's a band-aid. That's kind of funny, guys. anyway we're gonna try and do this hopefully I don't need that band-aid uh, but this one is all done uh, with one uh, hex head so this is actually a uh, two so we're gonna try and do this without breaking my new spring I'm showing you guys as far as what I have to go through to actually install it and if there's any better way to do it so if you see here I got my fancy cobalt multi hex tool don't have anything fancier yet this is just later on in my toolbox when I found that I it wasn't a Torx head and this is all I got. So, making do with what I have. So, I'm trying to make this a bit quicker. I think the first assembly video that I had online was probably about 30 minutes long. Uh, and it was live. And I think I did the Firebird knife. And that Firebird knife did get a lot better uh, after that disassembly and cleaning. And we're going to pop this little pin out. Pop out stop pin. And that's a beefy stop pin. Check that out. It's kind of necessary for the amount of force that that thing gives off. Let's get that out of the way. I was trying to maintain the pressure on it so I wouldn't have it just pop because it kind of deforms the spring and so I don't know if it's supposed to look like that but it doesn't look very good that's actually just after installing it too um, but so little notch there spring so this one didn't have any spring in it so it was probably a conversion back to manual and this one just had a little washer in there and when I first got it but very simple setup, two scales, some little guide pins, uh, stop pin that uh, goes up here, a little push button. So this knife blown apart and we're going to be putting it back together and kind of show you how that spring goes back in there. There's a little tab there, a little notch, then there's a little peg, lines up with that hole on the blade. You see there's no type of washers or anything in here, which is what I was wondering about as far as if there, if there should be, and I'm missing them, or just how the knife is built, and it shouldn't have them. So when it's that hole's lined up, to crank it back over and hold it open. Drop that beefy, beefy stop pin in there. And hold it all together so it doesn't explode on you. Then we get 
this one in there as far as that button actuated lock. Seems to be in there. And we'll go through the scale back on and see if it's actually working again. Because hopefully I didn't have a working knife to take it apart to show you how it goes back together and then to break it. That wouldn't be very fun. I do have one other spring, if that be the case, which is the lighter spring. Because this is the secondary or the mid-grade uh, spring that I have in here now. So, very simple installation, very simple setup. Three screws. So this is my first experience with a button lock knife because button locks, well not button locks, but no, for automatics, Automatics are known for the button lock, and I really like button locks, but I like button locks in a manual setup. For most of the assisted knives, I don't really care for them too much. But this one is a button type of lock, and an automatic with that spring. play on that but I think that's going to be a standard thing for any of the automatic knives there's going to have to be some type of play on it fairly straightforward uh, once you get to know uh, how the mechanism works that's kind of that setup I'm going to be putting on some Loctite for that but due to the sake of the video I'm just going to be doing that a little bit after, but that's how it goes together. Very nice scales and uh, scale inserts or wood inserts. So I much prefer this one. There's actually another one with a different type of insert on it, but the wood really adds to the knife and I think it works out really well. But that's how it went back together and that's how that automatic was. Uh, good learning experience and good life experience. Might be my only automatic though. Not really too uh, worked up about it. it Seems like for the speed of deployment, I could get probably that same deployment from a regular thumb stud or um, a flipper tab. Uh, so the only kind of addicting factor is that kick in hand as far as when you deploy it. So, but can be kind of dangerous, might fly out of my hand. Don't want to have it cut my toes but that is that one so let me know what you think on that but that's the disassembly and reassembly of this knife with the spring working again right there for you boker that is the 110703 uh, it goes for about 99 dollars last price from blight hq and if you do do a search for that specific number you will come across another one uh, um, I didn't recognize the site, but it was about 75 as far as a closeout. If you do really love this knife, it's something that uh, you want to pick up. It still is available out there. Thanks for your time.